Okay, are you two ready to find out what wines you've been tasting? Uh, yes or no. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with an easy one. So wine number one, you both identified as Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, the gooseberry grassy pungent notes. Boom! Boom indeed. Yes. There we go. The big reveal. The wine was. Oh no. Pinot Noir. Yeah. From Chile. I got the great part. Oh, I didn't. That's awful. I actually I didn't guess what country it was. Oh, did you get Pinot Noir wrong? You did right. Anyway, so this is the, the wine. The dribble test. That we discussed for the dribble test. Yeah. And the wine was. Days of Summer. Miguel Torres. Wait, what is that one? So it's Muscat. Uh, right. Three. Yeah, I got that well wrong. I got that tasty wrong. Yeah. yeah Are hey, you doing all right so far? Don't worry about that. But yeah, wine through. You went the monkey that went Merlot instead of Pinot Noir. Oh, wow. Don't worry about that. Yeah. You know? Bloody hell. It's all going wrong here. Oh yes, I put. Oh no. Wrong. Damn it. You were so close, Mike. So Mike originally had. Um, the first thing was wrong, I knew the first thing was wrong. You originally went for a Cabernet Sauvignon blend, but then I think maybe you picked up on the Grenache because yeah. you went for um, Tempranillo Grenache. Oh, which it could so easily you're not, have been. You're not far away there, yeah. not far away at all, just the other side of the border. So you were in Spain, Amelia correctly identified it as the, the, the Grenache. Very good. Spending a bit of time there. I see where Mike's coming from with this. Which makes it a bit wrong. The wine was from Italy. Oh, oh, Capano! Oh, I love it so much, and I'm not being paid. Oh, <laughs> it's so great! Oh, I can't no, believe we had sure. this on a tasting the 2009 you know vintage. Oh, oh amazing. yum! But I do love this wine. Yeah, nice. and, like, yeah. I love that one so much, and that's such a great vintage. And our final wine. Is a Fino Sherry. Very good. Yay! Sorry, Blay and Tiana, so I was trying to be clever. And it's the Waitrose one. Oh, oh very good. So very good. Yeah. I like it because it really helps you focus, because like so yeah. often, like, oh yeah, you get a glass of wine, and then yeah, you might have a bit of a sniff or a taste, and but uh, this really makes you focus. Yeah, yeah. I think that's also quite amazing yeah. to the power of of smell and um, I always say to people like when I enjoy wine 50% is how it actually tastes but 50% is how I enjoy it yeah. and obviously we, like, we all taste lots of wine um, given what we do but like when there's like particularly special moments it's amazing how these become like lodged in your mind. And the other thing is pretty how do you think we did overall? Um, I'm really impressed and um, I know from having done sensory tasting in the past that this is a really difficult thing to do and as I said even just getting red or white wine when you can't see it. Um, sensory testing and being filmed. Yeah, exactly. There's that doing it on camera. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, no, with, with the dribble bit. I think, with the dribble bit, yeah. But I think overall um, it has been actually quite a lot of fun and as competitive yeah. as we are I think more than anything I've had quite a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so what I'd say is definitely with all the, the links will be on the bottom of the screen and things like that. Go and sign up on the website and get your pack and get your blindfold sent to you and just do this with a load of mates. It's, it's been a giggle. Um, Thank you so much, Pete, for organising. Absolutely. Nice. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I've got to go and uh, practice my pinot. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. See you. Bye.